called doggy's choice. Um, I will click and treat for behaviors that I like and I'll ignore behaviors that I don't. We play this game a lot. I don't expect to see any behaviors I don't like, but we'll find out. All right. So I'm just, I'm just loading the clicker here. And it just kind of primes them for the whole, the click means food is coming experience, which obviously he's been doing for years. It's probably not necessary at this point, but it's a habit. So what we demonstrated today was uh, Rudy walked by my side, I clicked and treated, he made eye contact, I clicked and treated, he sat, I clicked and treated, he laid down, I clicked and treated, he settled and I clicked and treated. And those are just several of the moves that he knows very well and will offer while we play this game. Um, but what I want to point out is it, it, it's, it's a very useful thing for just kind of teaching a dog how to be because I didn't tell him to do any of that stuff. I didn't announce that we were playing the game or anything. We were just living life, right? But he's very used to that kind of interaction that when he does things that I like, I notice it and I let him know that I approve and then he habituate, he forms the habit of, of doing those things, whatever they are. And generally speaking, if he's sitting, if he's laying down, if he's settling, if he's making eye contact, then I like that. Good boy.